Jackson Lake resides in many different counties in the state of Georgia. Due to being such a big lake in many different places, pollution has always been a problem. We researched big data and how it ties into pollution, then we set up a couple interviews with two people who live on the lake. Jackson Lake is the oldest lake in Georgia and has many companies looking after it. One of those places is the Jackson Lake Association. One of the questions we had to ask about the lake was, where does pollution for the lake come from? We asked none other than the president of the JCLA, Wally Cawthon. We have four rivers coming into it, the Tussahaw, the South, the Yellow, and the Alcove. And the, the vast majority of the, the trash that we have coming in from the lake, <clears throat> of course, comes in from the highest density areas. So if you go up the rivers from the lake, you'll notice that uh, the, the, uh, the South River goes all the way to Peachtree Street in Atlanta and goes east as far as Gwinnett County. And all of that area, if it rains four inches there, all of that, every, every parking lot, every roof, every ditch, everything, all of that comes to Jackson Lake. Now what we're seeing is a 90% of what we pick up that is, that is human you know, generated is plastics and styrofoam. We're very happy with our water quality. Our problem, like the biggest problem that's unmanageable that we're dealing with is just trash, just people throwing debris uh, out somewhere and it ends up into the system that ends up at our lake. That is our, that is our challenge. When asked about data, Wally talked about how people would go out to the lake and measure the water quality. They get the data and bring it all back to him and his company. A few things that we have to keep up with are pH and temperature. Thankfully, businesses and people in the community are trying to help with the pollution problem. In fact, there are many different cleanup groups that go to the lake multiple times a year to help out. JLA, the Jackson Lake Association does, they do one every three months and I've helped with one of those. And then Friday on Earth Day, George Power had five boats. We asked Wally to go a little more in depth with the cleanups and how often they are. We do it four times a year. We have uh, five boats that we use to go out that are flat top boats. They're old pontoon boats, goes out and picks up people's trash bags. So if you get a group of people at your school, 10 people or whatever, when we do a cleanup, we will take you, we'll pick you up in the boat, we'll take you somewhere, you fill up 40 or 80 bags, we'll haul off the trash, we'll buy you lunch. So we are making a bit of progress with the lake and its pollution problems. We're collecting the data, doing the cleanups, and caring about the community. Certainly I have seen the pollution improve, which uh, of course is a good thing. Um, so the, you know, the, I get to see more of the ducks and the geese and the, the herons and those kind of things and bald eagles, we've got those as well. So we're making progress. Which is, which, which is a good thing. Jackson Lake has been around for a long time now, and our community and businesses are doing their best to keep it clean and safe for citizens living there. Thanks to the Jackson Lake Association and other Jackson Lake companies, the lake can thrive for a long time.